Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming now if you don't know who i am like you're new to the channel i am a digital marketer i specialize in helping artists like yourself get their songs heard through platforms like spotify like instagram like youtube and a bunch of others now what i want to talk to you guys about today are some key takeaways that you can take from studying Sheck west's come up now if you've been under a rock for the past year year and a half then Sheck west is this young rapper out of harlem he's currently signed to kanye west good music travis scott cactus jack all in the interscope records he started enjoying some major success within last year after his song Mo Bama really took off and blew up and after really sitting down studying his come up studying how he moved before he got to where he is I do think there are some things that you guys can apply to your own careers to kind of help yourself get started help yourself get settled and start to build out a buzz now before we get into all of that come and follow me on Instagram I make sure to put my at name below on the screen come talk to me come engage with me come give me some video ideas I always need some video ideas guys now with that being said let's get right into it all right, so takeaway number one is to work your song. And when I say work your song, I'm not talking about for a week or two weeks or even a month, but I mean to really work and push your song over an extended period of time. Now, a common thing that I personally see with a lot of artists is you guys will drop a song, you'll put out a couple Instagram posts, maybe a music video, and then two weeks later, you're moving on because the song didn't quite take or catch off the way that you had hoped it would. Now, I think that Shaq West can actually explain this a little bit better than I can. I know is with songs and it's a lot of things I feel like kids don't understand like they'll have a fire track but they'll be like why doesn't it blow up some blow-ups just happen on accident and some blow-ups you got to really push I've always been pushing Mo Bamba you got to really just push your music and just go behind it if you know you got this crazy track push that j one joint so if we look at Shaq West specifically, right, he dropped Mo Bama in June of 2017. It didn't hit the Billboard charts until September of last year, September of 2018. That means that his label had been working that same song for well over a year, like 15 months to be exact. And the thing is, he's not the only case that we've heard about. He's not the only artist that we know of that took months of working the song for them to blow up. If you think about it, there was Fetty Wap and Trap Queen. There was LMA and Boot Up. So I think that one of the key takeaways from this is that if you have a good song, Song, then it does deserve the proper time and attention of a long well thought out marketing plan so the next time that you're sitting down planning your release or even your post release for a song make sure that you're planning for six months or maybe even a year or maybe even longer all right so key takeaway number two is to focus on singles over projects now if you really think about it Sheck West just dropped his first album Mud Boy last October October 2018 for that he only had a handful of songs out and like a couple of features but his main focus was on Mobama and Lil Sheck West Da Sheck West those were his main two focuses now what I got from that is that he wasn't necessarily trying to bombard his fans with a whole project he wasn't trying to convince people who had never heard of him to go check out 12 songs he just wanted you to listen to these two songs decide if you liked him from that and then invite you into his fan base and take you on the journey with him from there and key takeaway number three the last takeaway is to tell your story give your fans something to connect to now i think that one of the most interesting parts of the mud boy rollout was how he connected his personal stories to the title he told the story about how his mom and his brother tricked him into going to africa and i'll just let you guys watch the clip my mom sent me to africa because she didn't want me modeling and i wasn't going to school I was like running in the streets with my Senegal? friends. Yeah, to Senegal. She was like, you not just gonna be taking these cute little photos and hanging out with the weed smokers. We sending you back. I wasn't even like, even like smoking crazy back then. Like I was just on some like, just wild. Like I don't even want to be at home. So once the marketing for Mud Boy kicked into high gear, he told that story in every single interview, constantly reminding his fan base about how they connected to the Mud Boy title and giving them a reason to further connect with and support that project. Now, this is something that you guys can do for your own stories and your own content as well. And you don't necessarily need a big platform to do it on. Now, I'm sure it will help, but you guys have Instagram, you have YouTube, you have Twitter. Just figure out a creative way to tell your story to your fan base, to get it out to them so they will want to connect with 
you on a personal level, thus connecting with the art more, making them want to support you even harder than they may already do. So there we have it guys, those are my key takeaways from studying Shaq West and his come up. I'd love to hear what you guys think, let me know in the comment section below. Also let me know if there's anything that you noticed watching Shaq West that maybe helped you out, I'm sure that we could all benefit from it as well. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video, hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.